What's going on my friend, it's Danny, and today I'm gonna to talk about how we can improve or strengthen our immune system with gut health. Now, before I get started, quick disclaimer, don't take the content of this video as medical advice, it's for information purposes only. So first of all, why do we want a strong immune system? Well, having a strong immune system is actually a cornerstone of health and longevity. If we have a strong immune system, we're less likely to get colds and stomach bugs, etc. But it's also critical to help us to fight off infection and diseases like cancer. So when we reach a certain age, we all develop these tiny pre-cancer cells and our immune systems will actually kill them off before they turn into full-blown cancer cells, which is great. And that process is happening every single day. So it's important we have a strong immune system to help us to prevent, prevent these diseases like cancer. Now, if we have a weak immune system, then we're likely to get lots of colds and feel run down all the time, but it leaves us much more exposed to these infections and diseases. So we wanna make sure we have a good, strong immune system. Now, it turns out our guts and our gut health and our immune systems are very closely linked. In fact, 80% of our immune cells are actually found in the gut. So if we want a strong and healthy immune system, we want a strong and healthy gut. But how do we do that? How do we develop a strong and healthy gut? Well, our guts are actually full of bacteria. We have literally trillions of bacteria. And some of these bacteria are bad, but the majority of the bacteria is good and serves a good purpose. And the community of this good bacteria and bad bacteria in the gut is called the microbiome. So if you want a strong, healthy gut, we want to take care of our microbiome and ensure the population of good bacteria is healthy and thriving and growing. But we also wanna make sure we have a very diverse range of good bacteria, meaning that there's lots and lots of species. So we almost wanna treat our microbiome like a rainforest that's teeming with thousands of different species of life. So that way, if one species dies off for whatever reason, then the overall ecosystem isn't impacted too badly and it can keep going on and thriving. Now on the flip side, if we have a microbiome that's like a lawn of grass, i.e. there's just one species, and the grass dies off, then the whole ecosystem is wiped out basically. So that's why you want a diverse range of bacteria. So if we look after our microbiome and make sure the good bacteria is healthy and thriving and growing, and we have a diverse range of good bacteria, we'll have a strong, healthy gut and a strong, healthy immune system. But what's the link there? So how does having a strong, healthy gut give us a strong, healthy immune system? Well, first of all, we need to understand that bacteria are alive. And like all living things, they need to eat something. And when they eat, just like us, they need to poo. Now, it turns out that the poo of our bacteria are actually, they're called short chain fatty acids. They actually talk to the immune system. They act as signaling molecules to the immune system. And it's these signaling molecules that actually help to regulate the immune system and keep it healthy. They keep it in check and make sure it's not too active or oversensitive. So what we really want to do is we want to make sure our bacteria is pooing as much as possible so it can talk to the immune system. So how do we get our bacteria to poo? Well, you guessed it, we need to feed it, give it lots of good food. And what do our bacteria like to eat? Well, they like to eat fiber. In fact, they love to eat fiber. And fiber is what's called a complex carbohydrate. So eating fiber is probably one of the most powerful things that you can do to make sure that your gut is healthy and you have a good microbiome and a strong immune system. But why do they like fiber? Well, it turns out that most of our bacteria actually resides in the lower gastrointestinal tract or the lower GI tract. And that's important or relevant because in our modern day society, in the West, West especially, our diets are quite high in simple carbs and protein and low in fiber. And these simple carbs and protein are actually absorbed in the upper GI tract. So they don't actually make it down to the lower GI tract where the bacteria live. So if we eat a diet that's high in simple carbs and protein learn fiber, we're essentially starving these bacteria, which is not good news because they can't eat and grow and do this pooing to talk to the immune system. Um, but it gets worse than that. So if we starve our bacteria, they don't like that, so they get desperate basically. Remember, bacteria are alive, so they wanna survive. And if they can't get their food source from fiber, they will get it from other places. And what they do is they start to eat the carbs that are present in the mucus of our gut barrier lining, and that is a recipe for disaster. So when that happens, our immune system will actually start to overreact to the bacteria because they're getting just far too close to our, to our human cells. And having an overreactive immune system is just bad news basically. 
So we don't want to, uh, we don't want to um, starve our, our bacteria, we want to make sure it has lots of fiber. Now it turns out that the human genome isn't very good at digesting complex carbohydrates like fiber, and that's good news for our bacteria, because when we eat it, it actually passes through the upper GI tract, and makes it all the way down to the lower GI tract, so our bacteria have all the food and nourishment they need, so they can do this pooing, and the poo can talk to our immune system. So, where do we get fibre from? Well, you've probably guessed we get it from fruits and vegetables, that's a great source. But our bacteria especially like fibre from stringy vegetables like asparagus and leeks, so that's a great source as well. Now, if you're looking for a, a supplement to help you on and fast track it, a great supplement is psyllium husk. And psyllium husk actually has about 88% fiber, which is massive. Now, to put that into context, most vegetables like peas and broccoli, etc., they have between 3 and 4% fiber, so there's a huge difference there. But remember, to have a good, healthy microbiome, we want a diverse range of good bacteria. So that means we need to feed it a diverse range of fiber because different, different bacteria like different sources of fiber basically. So don't rely on one source of fiber, mix it up and make sure you're getting a wide variety of fiber to make sure you have that diverse range of good bacteria. So how much fiber should we eat? Well, in the typical modern Western diet, we'd eat about 15 grams of fiber every day, and that isn't enough at all. We need at least 30 grams of fiber a day to have a good healthy gut. Now our ancestors would eat between 100 and 150 grams of, of, of fiber every day, so that really puts it into context. So make sure you're eating at least 30 grams of fiber, ideally more. So that is a video, so I'll do a quick recap and then we'll wrap up the video. So how do we have a strong immune system? Well remember the gut and the immune system are closely linked. So to have a strong immune system you want to have a strong healthy gut and to have a strong healthy gut we want to make sure the microbiome which is this population of good bacteria and bad bacteria is healthy and thriving and we want to make sure that the good bacteria have all the food they need and we have a diverse range of good bacteria. That way they can poo which is good because that poo will actually talk to the immune system and regulate it and keep it healthy. So where do we get fiber from? Well we get it from fruits and vegetables but our bacteria especially like stringy vegetables from leeks and asparagus for example and if you're looking for a supplement a great supplement is psyllium husk but again remember we want a diverse range of fiber because we want a diverse range of bacteria in our guts. So that's the video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you'd like to see more videos like this one hit the subscribe button, hit the like video if you like the video and if you'd like to see more videos like this one as they come up don't forget to hit the bell on the subscribe button and you'll be notified of my videos as they come out. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.